All right, guys, you might be wondering how many guns you can fit in the trunk of a car. So this is just your basic Chrysler. I can't really remember how many are in here. All right, that's my AP, AP-16 right there. I've seen that before. Now, I'll show you these when I get them inside, but this right here is my Advantix Max. Another one, 22 caliber. This right here is my Conquest. Another Conquest uh, 357. Where's the scope's gonna go on something? This right here is actually, I'm gonna show this to you right now because this is my favorite gun. Well, actually, I've already had this in a video. I'll show it to you on the table, but this is my 177 Max Full Auto. Right here, we have a Hat Sand Sortie, refurbished. AP16. This right here is a brand new 9mm Vanix Max. All right, right here we got a uh, Umarex MP Legends machine gun. A little bit of night vision right here. I do have to do some testing on this because uh, I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. Got some bunny targets. AR-15 Airsoft, 6mm. This is a center point 3x9 scope. These are pretty good for air guns. I've been using them for a long time. On uh, They always hold their... Zero on there. Oh, there's a little spider right there. This right here is actually a very special gun. I'll show this to you inside, but it is a, a custom 25 caliber Conquest. And my GTL 480, which you guys saw in my gun case making video. And I think that's it. Alright, there is one more that I forgot. And this is actually one of my favorite guns. Uh, this is actually in a Vanix Speed. And, uh, you know, this is fully automatic. You want to know what that looks like? This is semi, and that's full. This doesn't have the, the traditional markings that usually come on these, but... All right, so I'm going to show you guys a couple of my guns. Uh, this here are my AP-16s. You've seen those before. Uh, I'm here at my dad's house. He's a big uh, reloader, and so this is his uh, reloading setup right here. He's got all these things he uses, and so, anyway... Uh, I told him I wanted to cast some bullets for my 50 caliber hammer that I'm getting. And so these right here are some cast bullets that we made here. And uh, this is an example. Let's see. This one came out pretty good. There's a lot you need to know about casting bullets. It's not as easy as it sounds. But uh, once we got the mold broken in and everything, these are examples of a couple that came out pretty good. We might be putting these through a sizer. Uh, I don't know about this one. But anyway, you got to break your mold in. And uh, once you break your mold in, then uh, they'll come out better. But anyway, so that was some fun stuff I was doing. Ooh. All right, guys, this right here is the hat sand story that I got refurbished for $399. Pretty happy about that so if you've seen my hat sand sortie video you'll know that this bad boy comes with three magazines so let's check out this refurbished gun here looks pretty nice I don't really see any any marks on it or nothing yeah so like I said many times uh, when I order refurbished guns they usually end up being brand new perfect when I get them and uh, sure enough hat sand did it again they sent me a really nice gun 399 bucks for that bad boy and so uh yeah the hat sand sortie comes with three magazines so that's another thing i really like about it okay this guy right here all right this right here is my avanix max it's a 177 caliber full or semi-auto that's full auto right there and uh anyway this thing holds 18 pellets and i can shoot 18 pellets full auto that right there is a four inch baby huget the Huget, made in the UK. So uh, this is probably one of my favorite guns. All right, and this right here is my uh, Umarex MP40, which is a full automatic, full metal BB gun. So I actually haven't shot it yet. I'm uh, about to make a video on that this week. All right, now what's in this? This is kind of rare because uh, it's a brand new, never fired. I'm sorry, you can't. 
see too good, but this is basically a nine millimeter Vanix Max that's never been opened or anything, and so 357. Uh, I don't think this one is full auto yet, but it can be converted. But yeah, that's a sick gun right there, so I just kind of keep it in the box. So this right here is actually really special. Very, really, really, really special gun to me. So this right here is also an Avanix Max, and this is a kind of rare. It's 22 caliber. It's also brand new. And check this out. This is actually manufactured in 2016, and it came straight from Korea, and it has factory full auto and semi-auto, which is cool because usually you have to get those converted. So that's another gun that I'm going to be keeping. This right here is my uh, Colt M4. 6mm airsoft gun. I did a video on this. They're only about 49 bucks, but they are a lot of fun. Semi or full auto. Let's see what's in here. Okay, this right here is my... Uh, you can tell I'm really into Vanix, but that's mainly because I like fully automatic stuff. But this guy is still in semi-auto, I believe. But this is a 357 9 9mm uh, semi-auto conquest. Really a lot of fun. Okay, this right here is my um, Vanix Speed, they call it. And I like this gun because it looks like a regular gun, kind of. But then also, this is 177, fully automatic, and it shoots 18 bullets in one clip. So that's uh, another one of my little thumpers. Okay, so this right here is actually one of my coolest guns. Uh, when I first got this gun, I noticed the guy had, like, used Line-X or something on it. And uh, let me see, done a couple other things. The cheek piece was kind of worn down and but then when i started uh having this gun oh it also has a uh, a fixed suppressor and i think this belonged to a law enforcement dude and he must have had it in his trunk for a while i don't know if he ever went full out on any bad guys with it but uh anyway he's uh modified the cheek piece or wore it down it's a semi or full auto 25 caliber uh really cool gun so this gun as i said yeah like it wasn't in very pristine shape when I got it. It does work awesome. But uh, he's got some cool upgrades on it. Like he's got swivel studs and this is like quick release to get your battery in and out of there. And so anyway, this gun kind of grew on me and I decided to keep it because uh, it's a good gun. That It's definitely not a thrasher or a beater, but you know, I can I can have it around and not have to worry about getting dust on it or anything because you know, I'm pretty uh, anal about my other guns, but one of my favorites. All right, now a lot of you may have seen this uh, for my gun case making video, I still do have to finish that, but this is a gun case that I made, and this uh, houses my uh, GTK, I'm sorry, this houses my GTL 480, and this is a super sick gun, it's got a big bottle, it's got a 357 9mm, and it's a semi-auto, it can be converted to a full auto, but um, anyway, my idea with this uh, was I was going to make a folding stock out of this and then put some sort of like Lothar Walther barrel on here so that it's like really short so you got a, a real little shorty fully automatic nine millimeter that'd be a gnarly weapon so uh anyway I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that okay this right here is also in my uh, gun making video and this was the first gun case I made it looks pretty crude but it is actually very very good at protecting this gun so this is uh, a 25 caliber Evanix Conquest fully automatic and um this has actually been tuned and has a few upgrades. This thing's super freaking accurate. Uh, we're talking like three eighths holes or one inch, uh, one hole groups, you know, at 35 yards, 50 yards, no problem. It was tuned by Will Pate at Saddle Mountain Gunsmiths. So a little hint, if you want to get yourself a hold of a semi-auto Avanix rifle, you just send it to Saddle Mountain Gunsmiths. And what they'll do is, in a semi-auto, this right here, is actually a pin so all he does is take the pin out and put in the selector switch and you're ready to go so it's 135 dollars to have any Avanix semi-auto converted to full automatic at saddle mountain gunsmiths you can look them up on google so we got a little sneaky guy down here let's see what's we'll our last case right here i got this case free with a gun that i bought off the air gun classifies it's pretty cool so normally i wouldn't spring for a case this expensive Let's see what's in here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to put this on the table because it's so awesome. Okay, this right here is uh, an Evanix Monster 9mm. So this is actually brand new from Evanix Factory. I was actually super lucky, and I hooked up with the guy that made Evanix website. 
and uh, apparently they paid him in guns one time, and so he asked me, you know, would I like to buy four guns from him, and uh, I went ahead and ordered uh, four of the most rare kick-ass guns out of Annex Mage, some of them that they had stopped making, but the owner of the company went back to his warehouse and grabbed a couple out of his private stash, so I ended up with this brand new 9mm Avanix Monster with two tanks right there, and uh, I haven't even shot this yet or aired it up, I've had it for a couple years, and then uh, I got those two Maxes that I showed you that were full auto 177 and 22, and uh, I got another one, I can't remember what it was, but this right here is just uh, another run of the mill. I think this is actually a 22 caliber uh, fully automatic Conquest. And this is another one that I'm saving just because you really don't see uh, 22s around very often. You know, 22 is cool because you can go down to Walmart and get your ammo. You don't have to order it online like with 25s um, and all the other calibers. So, yeah, that's why I'm keeping this one too. Yeah, the Monster and the Giant um, from Avanix, I believe, are two of the most uh, awesome air guns ever made um, i was actually able to get a hold of a fully automatic 25 caliber giant as well which is basically the same gun right here but in uh, electric fully auto so i'll show you that in a second all right guys now we're, we're gonna look right now at some of my favorite guns right here and i'm talking like my top three so So this right here is what you call an impressive kit right here. So I have everything I need for a freaking major assault all ready to go right here. So see here. This thing's actually full of magazines, a lot of double magazines. I'll unzip that in a second. I got some crazy SWAT scope there. I got a laser. Now this right here, let's turn this around. This right here is a Evanix Giant. And so I looked around for probably five, six, seven years before I even found one of these for sale. And, uh... I remember the day that I got it. There's this, I got it off the Airgun Classifieds. This is a fully automatic 25 caliber with uh, 960 cc's of air between two tanks. And uh, I got the LDC in here and everything. This takes uh, 12 round mags, or you have double mags that are like 24 rounds. So I got a bunch of those too. Um, but yeah, this is a really badass gun. Like, I remember when I bought this, there was this guy named Sarge on the Airgun Classifieds. And I got to this gun maybe five minutes before that guy, and we were both racing to it, and I made the deal maybe like ten minutes after it even popped on the air gun classifieds because I used to check it every day for, for years, and that's how I got a lot of these guns. So, uh, yeah, this right here, um, I would say this is probably worth three to 5000 but if someone offered me 10000 for this thing, uh, I probably wouldn't sell it. So Okay, now for some uh, some of the really good stuff here is a Steyr Hunting Automatic 5. Let's just take a little closer look here. So these right here are the clips. I think it holds five or six in one clip and I got six of them. Gun sells for about $3,000 in the US but from Crail Sheesport I was able to get it for I think around 22, maybe 25, 2600. But yeah, this is uh, super accurate. Steyr makes Olympic rifles. And so uh, this thing is like one whole group at 50 yards. And uh, I haven't shot this very much, but this other gun that I'm going to show you, uh, which is kind of on par with this, my friend shot a uh, pretty much one whole group at 100 yards. This is a 22 caliber semi-automatic PCP rifle, so it shoots uh, 22 caliber as fast as you can pull the trigger. Super accurate, and uh, if you look on the promotional video for this gun on YouTube, it has the CEO of Steyr shooting clay pigeons out of the sky with this thing, and it's pretty awesome. Very well balanced.
Okay, guys, now for my number one most favorite gun in the entire world. Alright, you guys are probably wondering, how can I say that this is my favorite gun when I just unwrapped it? Well, I've had this gun two or three times before. And what I usually do is I get a good deal from it from Crail Sheesport in the Netherlands. And then uh, I bring it to America and I don't even shoot it and I sell it on the Air Gun Classifieds and make uh, three, $400. But I think I'm through doing that. This one is actually going to be a keeper. And the reason... Oh, by the way, when I was at Crail Sheesport, I got these for like 25 bucks. So now I have... I don't even know how many is in here, but there's a lot. And so I'm going to use this for my air gun shooting. thing about Crail is that they sell these for about 10 bucks so I added these to my order okay so this right here is the Steyr LG 110 and this is a single shot 22 caliber PCP rifle and it is just super accurate and that is why I love it it's only a single shot Let's see the target crown right there. But whenever I shoot this gun, I just can't put it down because it is just so accurate. You can basically pick, you're not just hitting the bullseye, you're actually picking what part of the bullseye you would like to hit, you know, top, bottom, left, right, center, whatever. So uh, my friend actually shot a one hole group, seven shot one hole group with this at 100 yards. Uh, he had a used one of these, and he's the guy that I bought my first one from. But yeah, so this is my favorite gun. It's called the Steyr LG 110. Here's the other side. You can see that trigger right there. Pretty nice. So this is just a, uh, a super precision instrument here, and just uh, shoots like a laser and you know that's why I like it and these are on sale right now at Crail I think I paid about 1600 bucks for this and uh, this would sell for about $2,200 in the US so I'm gonna go ahead and do a nice review on this and also a review on my other styre that I just showed you so uh, if you guys want to learn about that just uh, subscribe to my channel and tune in and we'll have that coming at you soon